And we are tracking today's major developments, keeping an eye on this big number. COVID-19 hospitalizations in the U.S. are around 70 thousand. That's up at least 35% in the past month with pediatric hospitalizations up by about 33%. Okay, Dr. Sutton, according to the Academy of Pediatrics, there's been a 28% increase in pediatric COVID-19 cases in the last two weeks. So help us understand this. What do you make of all of this? I know, you know, we are both parents of young children. What do we make of all of this? It's certainly concerning when you see these numbers, and I think it's due to a couple of different reasons. Number one, it's just a, a result of the increased transmission Missibility of this variant. Unfortunately, as it's more likely to spread from person to person, it's more likely to affect those who are unvaccinated, which majority includes kids underneath the age of five. And then secondly, I think it's pandemic fatigue. Uh, we're all exhausted during this pandemic and parents are putting those mitigation efforts aside during these holiday periods. And in this setting of high transmission, I think it's just too much of a risk to take. So it's just a reminder that we need to practice mitigation, masking, ventilation, vaccinations, everything we can do. Especially as you mentioned, kids under five, We've both got two of them at home <laughs> under five, so that is, we are in that group. Now, the verdict is still out, Dr. Sutton, about whether this variant affects children differently, but you said that the issue is that there aren't as many pediatric beds at hospitals. Yep. When it comes down to it, it's really a game of resources, not just for adults, but for children. There's less resources available to treat kids than there are for adults. And when you look at, specifically here in New York, the rates of hospitalizations, if you look at those under the age of 18 who are hospitalized, 50% of them are under the age of five, unfortunately, and they don't have access to a vaccine. And then when you look at those older than five, from ages of five to 11, 100% of those admitted patients are not vaccinated. And then when you look at the ages from 11 to 12, or excuse me, from 12 and older to 17, 75% of them are at least partially vaccinated, but no one's fully vaccinated. So that's really the concern. If you're eligible, get your child vaccinated and surrounding that child with vaccinating people. And if they're eligible, getting boosted is probably the best thing that you can do. The best thing you can do. And obviously so many parents thinking about that right now. Dr. Sutton, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.